How's it going everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you're watching from or when you're watching. My name is Matt, host of the Crypto Currently YouTube channel, and today I have a special guest, Ben. And Ben is a member of the Digibyte Awareness team. Uh, for my viewers, this is the first time you've ever seen my face, and this is my first time ever doing an interview. So there's definitely a lot of firsts here today. Uh, so a quick backstory on how this all came to be. Uh, really starts at the beginning of this year when I first became interested in cryptocurrency and uh, it was about two months ago that I decided to make a YouTube channel to talk about the different currencies I'm interested in or passionate about and Digibyte is definitely one of them and it was about two weeks ago or so that a member of the Digibyte awareness team commented on one of my videos asked me if I'd like to do an interview I said yes so he got me in touch with another member of the team who ultimately got me in contact with Ben so Ben, again, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for your time. And I was wondering if you can kind of give us an idea on uh, how you got interested in cryptocurrency, how you got involved with the Digibyte Awareness team, and uh, what's your role there? Yeah, thanks for having me, Matt. So like you, I got involved with cryptocurrency about a year ago. I was still in college studying business at Indiana University, and I learned about Bitcoin one day and I was fascinated by it. I was reaching out to people left and right trying to make connections as quickly as possible so I could catch up because I feel like I felt at the time like I was behind. There was so much to learn. I came across this video called Banking on Bitcoin and after watching that I was just sold on the whole whole idea behind cryptocurrencies and the blockchain. And in in business school, I, I studied finance, supply chain management, and international business, and blockchain, and, and Bitcoin, and all its doings were one thing that combined all three of the disciplines together, and it really made sense. And so I wanted to dedicate a lot of time and energy into learning more about it. So talking with you today, I've probably spent 365 straight days just learning, reading, studying up on its technology. And one of those days throughout the year, I came across Digibyte, and I reached out, as I do, to one of the team members, and one thing led to another, and I got invited to be a part of the core awareness team. And I use my business knowledge as an analyst on the team where I analyze and evaluate all the different implementation projects going on such as getting added to exchanges or even real life use cases that's the most important thing i evaluate projects that are being used upon the digibyte blockchain and i i see how they can impact the future absolutely so first congratulations on uh graduating college and uh that um and i found it interesting that you said how your degree uh, basically is all interconnected with uh, really the potential for blockchain in the future and that's kind of the same boat I'm in. Uh, I, I work in logistics as well in, in Ohio and I, I see when I first discovered cryptocurrency and blockchain I, I really put the connection between blockchain and logistics uh, together and that's kind of what really got me interested in it since that's my background as well. Um, so what you were saying as far as like uh, implementations and, and stuff um, Digibyte was recently listed on the Bitfinex exchange with a Bitcoin and USD pairing. Uh, so did you have some sort of role in that implementation or could you give me uh, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I had no direct role in, in that specific implementation behind it. But, you know, I work with all the people on the awareness team who work very hard to get listed on these exchanges. And that's all grassroots, man. Absolutely. People yeah, people on the awareness team are just taking time out of their days to write personalized letters to all these people working at exchanges in an effort to push the volume. I think one way to, to spread the expansion and growth of, of cryptocurrencies is just being listed on reputable exchanges, which Bitfinex, of course, is. Absolutely. And it, it just increases the volume and the value of the coin itself. Absolutely. So uh, as far as like analysis, you, you were talking about real world use cases. We know Digibyte has a partnership with Anthem ID and VID. Could you kind of expand on that? Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's the most important thing about Digibyte blockchain is not as much the, the cryptocurrency itself and being exchanged and its value going up. That's, 
that's all good and, and fun, but what is really going to drive the future are these projects that are utilizing blockchain technology for a better future. And what VID and Anthem ID are doing is basically having a virtual identity. And I, I published a paper on our collaboration with those two identification companies. It's, it's found on the awareness team's website if anybody wants to go take a look at it. But I used an example in the paper of the Adar system in India. And in India, they assign a unique identifying code to each and every citizen in the country. And it has all your personal information, and that's information that you, you don't want leaked or you don't want hacked. But unfortunately, because of the centralized nature of the Adar system and the government, people were able to infiltrate the system and retrieve lots of valuable information that should never be compromised. And so what these two companies are doing right now is utilizing blockchain technology to decentralize identification in an effort to bolster cybersecurity and just personal security itself. And really, uh, security is one of the main reasons I like gravitated toward Digibyte is uh, more and more devices and people are being connected to the internet and the hackers are increasing exponentially as well. And, and really, like we saw with Facebook, the big Facebook hack not that long ago, centralized data storage is completely unsecure and as we advance into the future there's going to be some uh, need for a change uh, to the traditional system and I think Digibyte definitely uh, embraces that with their truly decentralized nature. Yep, you, you hit the nail on the head man. Decentralization for cybersecurity should be the future. What drew me to Digibyte originally was the fact that it is believed that 90 to 95 percent of all cybersecurity issues can be solved with blockchain technology. And like you were saying about Facebook and its centralization, I had to get rid of my Facebook. I, I deleted it. It's gone forever because they were mistreating my information. They were manipulating its users, and I did not stand with that. So I got off, and you know I feel pretty pretty good after you know I took a break and a permanent break from all of that nonsense going on and it's just less of a headache because you want your valuable information to be secure and blockchain I believe does that it gives me hope absolutely I mean people tend to think that their accounts are safe they have a secure feeling but really it's not and uh, like like you said Digibyte is definitely uh, with their decentralization going to change the way data is stored and increase the security along the way which is great. So uh, switching subjects, uh, let's talk about the Abra wallet. Uh, we all already know Digibyte is listed on the Abra wallet and from what I've seen uh, it's going well. So could you give me some insight on that? Yeah, Abra is my favorite investing app for cryptocurrencies out there. It's really my only investing app that I use and the reason being is what we've been talking about before is it's decentralized. I'm the owners to my key. Nobody can hack my key because I've memorized it to heart. It's in my brain. Nobody can hack my brain. And so Digibyte is listed on the decentralized exchange and I'm able to acquire the value of Digibyte through stable coins. And so I have investments in, in Digibyte through, through Abra and it, has the promise of going native, you know, linked with the Digibyte Foundation's wallet. Maybe one day you will be able to upload Digibyte from your from your wallet or deposit it to your wallet. And so with two titans of industry, with Jared and Bill working together and collaborating and interviewing with one another and just sitting down and talking, there's real promise moving ahead for future collaborations with the potential of a decent centralized exchange with the decentralized project in Digibyte. Absolutely. I, I use the Abra wallet as well and I'm definitely excited for uh, if and when Digibyte does get that native listing uh, because Digibyte's again one of my favorite currencies and I do like the Abra wallet uh, similar to Digibyte it's decentralized and really I think decentralization is uh, the future there's no way around that. So uh, let's talk about the community of Digibyte and uh, how truly global this community really is. Yeah, absolutely. 
And, you know, I know you're from Ohio and, and I'm from Missouri, so blockchain technology has infiltrated the Midwest of the United States, but it's not just here in the U.S., it's all over the place. On the awareness team, I'm working with people from the Netherlands, people from China, people from Africa, people from New Zealand and Australia. I mean, all over the place. It truly is, like like you said earlier, the grassroots uh, community. It's, it's growing uh, all around the world uh, with no central... Um, company behind it and that's that's the amazing thing I think about Digibyte is it's truly uh, being created by the global community it's being promoted by the global community and it's being adopted across the whole globe yeah and that's what it's gonna have to take for this to receive real momentum and real adoption for the future is if people all across the world get behind it and I know that the Digibyte Foundation has been actually traveling to Venezuela Due to their high inflation, they've just been going around and helping people adopt Digibyte as a new alternative to currency. And that is huge. People are going to look back on that in the future and just realize how much work has really gone into all of this, all of this that we've been working for. And it's truly impressive. I mean, you're playing your part being able to talk about all of the exciting news going on, uploading content. I'm out there doing outreach and People all across the world are just finding their own niches and helping out. And it's truly impressive and one of the reasons why I'm super excited for this blockchain. I think I agree with you 100%. I mean, again, we're just really just regular people from the Midwest and the United States. Uh, both have our own day jobs, and we are playing a small role in the Digibyte community, in the success of Digibyte in the future. And, and, and like, the listing on Bitfinex is great for the... Uh, adoption or awareness being spread about uh, Digibyte, but we're certainly playing a role in that as well. That's essentially uh, just as important, really. And and like you said, Digibyte's use cases are what makes it different from a lot of the projects on the market. Uh, it's not just exchange listings and hype around the project. It's real-world uh, use cases to solve real-world problems. Absolutely. I'm excited for the future, man. We're we're out here all building projects together that will push us towards prosperity, hopefully, in the future. It gives me a lot of hope because our, our previous technological efforts have kind of become outdated. Our systems have become outdated, and it's on us to, to push this innovation, and I think we're doing an excellent job of it. I'm excited. I'm excited, too. What is it, $21 billion in 21 years? We're just getting started. Absolutely. So, again, Ben, thank you for coming on my channel. Thank you for this interview. Uh, if you have anything uh, else you would like to say, I'm giving you that opportunity now. Yeah, Matt, Crypto Currently, you're the best out there doing it right now, informative information about everything crypto. So if you want to learn more, stay tuned to what Matt has coming because it's important and all of the efforts that we do as a community together will will drive this innovation and in 10 20 years right now with all our efforts who knows where we'll end up this could become massive and just unbelievable to the common man or woman today the potential is endless and i'm excited to keep going i'm with you 100 percent. i've seen it before where they they liken the blockchain technology and cryptocurrency to the very early days of the internet and really uh, people some people were aware of it it was just kinda it took a couple years to really get uh, into the public and, and we're seeing the same thing with blockchain and really we are in the beginning stages and I think a couple years from now this is going to be massive and I'm definitely excited to play a, a very small role in this uh, advancement of technology for the future of society so again Ben Thank you so much for your time. Uh, as always, guys, if you enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button, like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.